Well, hey guys, welcome back. I'm pretty much about to do some thumbnailing practice, and uh, it's for a uh, my new project. Uh, it's a set of samples uh, based around Green Lantern, and later on I'll tell you why. But uh, first, I just want to tell you break it down what I'm about to do. So, in the beginning here, I'm about to show you my. Um, the breakdown of what I've done in my small uh, thumbnails and then I move into bigger thumbnails and then at the end I'm gonna demonstrate um, my breakdown to the bigger thumbnail for the last page so you'll get to see a little bit of how I actually do it and so that leads me to um, Green Lantern and why I'm doing it um, well, one, I kind of have some sort of goal about um, doing some cape work, as in drawing for uh, one of the big two, either DC or Marvel, or even uh, some of the more capey kind of stuff for Image or whoever. Um, but I have always been a fan of Superhero, so that's kind of why I want to do this. It's kind of the goal, at least in the beginning, before I like to do some of my own personal projects. and. You know, it's not my end goal to draw superheroes for the rest of my life, but it's definitely something I really want to get into. Um, and on the other hand, I really like Green Lantern. It's like my favorite character, so uh, I don't know why, <laughs> but he's actually kind of a nerdy guy. Um, he's like a Han Solo of sorts. Uh, but since I like doing it, usually you'll put out better work if you do what you like to do, um, or draw what you like. So. Um, on the video, I'm pretty much showing you like uh, my old notes that I wrote down in uh, my sketchbook, and I pretty much wrote this little script. Um, it's not even a script; it's just like bullying. Since I don't have a writer, I have it all in my brain. I don't have to write it down necessarily, so I just bullet it out um, and kind of remind myself when I want to draw um, and where the story needs to go from beginning to end. And so I kind of had the sequence where Hal started out in, on Earth and then he got word from uh, another Green Lantern that he needed to go help on another planet. But I decided that's too early, so I'm going to start kind of just on the way. So it's going to be Hal Jordan. He's like the original Green Lantern. And the neighboring sectors, Green Lantern, Tomar Ri, is meeting up with them to go kind of um, investigate something on a faraway planet. So that's kind of where we start, and you know, this is where we pick up and talk about my first stage. Once I get pretty much the script, and since I'm doing it myself, I don't write it out completely. Um, but I sketch out really, really small. You can see how small these thumbnails are, um, and I kind of just get the basic ideas down and maybe a little bit of the flow. And on the left side, I also have just like bolted out really really small and concise breakdown of what's in each panel so the first one's like a fly-in shot and the second one I wrote down a fly uh, I said a flight atmosphere but it's really just a fly into this planet closer up with the atmosphere and then a the third panel is a close-up of Hal and Tomar kind of getting the full figure and seeing your characters uh, which is always a good thing to do kind of quickly and then I have like an entry into the city on this planet in this little insert panel. Um, and then the last panel is this kind of half page thing of them landing on a um, kind of a perch on this building um, of one of these cities. So I do usually one of these and then I go right to the next one, which is the same page, but a different variation. And this is pretty much my second variation. Um, and I try to get a better flow, a different flow. And in this case, I kind of have it coming in from a different angle. And I think it works better because the rings kind of push to the, the second panel better. And, and then the second panel pushes to the, the, uh, the insert panel, which is the third panel. Um, and it's a little different. Instead of doing like a really small panel of the close up, I wanted to do something bigger. Um, but it's pretty much the same thing. You can notice that there is just a uh, difference there. I don't know what that sound was. What the heck? Anyway, <laughs> so we have pretty much the same thing. Um, I might have even got rid of a panel here, but I really wanted to show the characters bigger. 
So I made that shot bigger and you can see a more close up version of hell in the foreground and then the same shot um, but more of a profile view of them landing on this building and that's pretty much it. Um, once I do one or two or three of these then I move on to the next page because I feel like um, keeping it fresh and moving on to the next page. So I do it the same way. Um, the second page I'll break down the what's in each panel on the left and then on on the right I'll sketch out um, pretty quickly too. I mean just the basics like nothing is really looking <laughs> good or anything it just has a, a good flow um, and that's what I'm trying to go for just to get the basic ideas and most likely it won't work really that great but um, I'll make the changes later on. So this first one was an over the shoulder shot of Hal looking down Hal and Tomar are looking down at this construction site and they see like these two groups of people in the second panel a gangster kind of set of group of people and uh, like a innocent look looking people uh, an innocent group and um, the gangster took, takes the briefcase in the third panel he looks inside he smiles and then like kind of maliciously or not maliciously but like he's a villain so he kind of wants to do a double cross so he immediately pulls out his gun and fires um, and then in the next shot it kind of resembles the same kind of angle as the third so the third and the fifth kind of match and then the last panel is Hal and Tomar kind of looking at each other like oh no nah, the shit went down so we're ready to jump in which I think is a kind of a hard cut and I don't really know um, if that's gonna work and eventually you'll see later that I don't think it's gonna work and I move to something better or uh, something that flows a little better anyway so here I cut to um, pretty much the third panel um, at least I think I am. <laughs> I can't tell from the video. I'm doing this afterwards. So, um, just like I'm only doing a set of three because um, three is all you really need to get the idea across of how well you are at storytelling for these samples to show editors. So, I'm stopping at three. But the last shot is Hal coming in to save whoever that guy's shooting at. And um, I have a couple different versions of it. But the version that I did, the last version, looked like it was the best one. And it's kind of how floating up forward, where Tomar is in the back with this bubble shield protecting the innocent people while the gangsters run away and scatter and fire at him. And But I think it has this really cool background. And um, this construction highway that, uh, the setting is like this weird constructed highway that is not finished and it's really industrial. I'm going to try to keep it grounded to something that people will recognize but use weird shapes so it's obviously um, alien so here I I'm noticing that I need to change the angle of Hal because it's just not working that way for some reason I think it'll be better if he's floating off um, the other angle and the guy that's running away toward the foreground should be running to the right corner because it's pushing to the next page um, and then I might put the guy that's firing the gun to the left so I'm kind of like flip-flopping the, the foreground a little bit um, but that's the idea. Um, so this is the breakdown of the bigger half page. So I take the small ones and I redraw them uh, about half of a eight and a half by eleven page, and it's a little bigger, and I'm able to get something out of it that is um, more precise. So here I kind of went with the second pay or the second variation, where the rings point to the next panel, and I think it just flew flew in better that way. Um, and I think it flows so from the second panel where they fly into the planet a Closer up of them flying into the city, which is gonna look cool. Maybe some mountains in the background. I'm gonna try to make it a little alien, but um, Something fantastical and then the third I mean uh, the fourth panel is gonna be them kind of really above the city and it's gonna be pretty high up um, these little squares are really giant buildings and I'm gonna have these windows just all over the place to be hundreds of windows on these things so um, now that I'm looking at it, the perspective could be helped if I pushed the the flow of this panel a little differently I'm noticing I think if I cut off this panel on the second panel if I cut it off I could maybe use the perspective of the fourth to work for me and kind of push to the direction I want uh, the viewer to go so maybe I might cut that off 
um, and then have the reader kind of flow into these streak lines of them landing on the last panel. Um, but I've you know got some good plans with how to make this last panel work really industrial. So I kind of cut to um, this breakdown of the second sheet and I just want to quickly go over you know that I want these gangsters to all be kind of part of a motorcycle gang and something like a Yakuza kind of feel and then uh, maybe this other van looking thing belongs to the innocent kind of folks and just showing that they're softer and not so dangerous but the gangsters are in motorcycles and they're gonna look alien and kind of insectoid is kind of what I want and, and menacing at least um, they're all gonna be aliens because they're on a different planet but um, the villain ones are gonna look kind of menacing um, something really creepy like a something like an insect so the same shot it's just of the the villain firing he smiles and he realizes let's just double cross and we'll fire away um, so before like I said there I wanted after the shot I wanted Hal and Tomari to look at each other and say something like we should go help or oh, it just went down let's go get in this and stop this um, but I think that was just a weird jerky move so I think I'm gonna go right to them stopping the shot and saving some of the um, the people so I'm gonna have maybe Tomar put up like a shield or something right here I have it like a vault um, but I think I'm gonna have Tomar do it and block it with like a alien looking shield and I think it has a good flow because they're flying it from right to left and then the, the shot goes left to right and I think that's gonna flow real well. So, just showing you, this is the third panel, um, or the page rather, and this is where I start um, my in progress video time lapse. And it's sped up pretty quick, but you got to see me do the half page version of the third page live here. So, um, I'm pretty much measuring up pretty close to like what the dimensions should be the ratio and I just start going at it uh, I'm gonna begin with the background and kind of get the horizon right it's kind of at this slanted angle to kind of give um, a little more of an action kind of feel and just putting a few pers perspective lines in to know where this highway is going to be receding off in the distance um, and then I just go into having um, the city in the background and on this one, I forgot to draw some mountains, I think. I don't remember drawing mountains, but I will put them in there. I think they're going to be a, a big part of what this planet looks like. I just have, I just like mountains, I don't know why. So I pretty much went in and put in the buildings, kind of trying to keep the flow and the action lines from the highway and have the reader kind of go that direction because after that, it's going to come back to hell and kind of redirect with his body. It's all going to flow together is what I'm trying to do. And that's kind of the goal with what you want to do with your own stuff is always have an intention, always have um, a direction you want it to go. So here I'm starting to draw in Hal, Green Lantern, and I want him like flowing in the other way like I'm doing. I want his leg to be on the left and his body swaying off to the right side of the page. So, um, and you'll see I have, you know, I have a lot of trouble with trying to get the character in right. I really didn't use a whole lot of reference. I, I had a couple pieces of reference to go off of, but um, I like to go without reference at first and just see what I get because you don't grow when you're just copying and it's important you try to expand what you know just by memory and that's what I try to do here and you see that it just doesn't work a lot of the times and for the most part I change this whole pose. Um, it looks okay, but things are out of proportion and just not working so the until the whole pose will change um, until I figure it out and I pull up some reference in between and you know try to get something a little bit more realistic but what I'm concerned with is the flow and how cool the silhouette is and and he's the main character like having the body language that I want him to have uh, so that's everything I'm thinking about as I'm going and this whole thing probably took, I don't know, um, about 45 minutes. So I didn't want to spend too much longer on it. Um, in my last video, I showed a thumbnail of me doing 
um, um, inked version of it and so I might do that with this again just to get the block the blacks kind of blocked in but for the most part I just want to get this uh, pencil working because that's my goal is to get uh, clean pencils and not necessarily have every black uh, blocked in at this point so as you see my my green liner is starting to come in and, and work a little bit he's starting to feel like he's in the page and kind of receding there's a few different things that I'd like to do maybe make the the leg that's kind of curled up a little bigger you might see a little bit more of the the calf underneath the shin um, but for the most part I like it um, and like I said it's a thumbnail so I'm gonna probably light box light box this in on a full size eight, 17 by 11 page or 11 by 17 page and um, come up with something that is not exactly this you know I'm gonna use it as a guideline okay so I pretty much was looking at what I drew before for the shield and since I'm gonna have, since I'm gonna have Tomar Reed kind of construct this shield instead of Hal it's got to be alien and this is what I'm doing off to the side is trying to figure out what shapes look weird and what shapes like don't don't work and um, the way Green Lantern works is that whoever is using the ring to construct things kind of resemble what they know. So he's an alien guy, so he's going to construct something that looks weird to us. But I have to make it look like it has a purpose, like it's a shield. So um, at some point, I think the video kind of cuts out and doesn't work for me. <laughs> uh, I guess it just uh, lost battery or something. So I lost a little bit of the video. but. Here you see me blocking in Tomar and some other people in the background that he's protecting with the shield. So, so there it goes, it just skipped and you see kind of this weird kind of shape. And I'll still, like I said, vary from this because it still looks a little, looks weird, but I think I wanted to go a little bit different direction, maybe a, a little bit more soft. Uh, but I kind of like it, it looks like a overhanging cave or something and he's like a bird looking fish thing. So I feel like a, like a cove or a cave or something is something that he would use as protection. Who knows? Uh, I'm trying to use my imagination with it. So I have the guy, like I said, running away. Uh, at the bottom, he's like the leader. And then I have off to the right behind Green Lantern is a couple other gangsters kind of firing at Tomar and the the innocent people. So it's pretty much. You know, Hal's being the uh, rash dude that he is and going after the main guy and jumping off and forcing Tomar to kind of hold his ground and, and fight the remainder. Um, but Hal's the hotshot, so he's going for this main, uh, the leader that has the, the weapon or whatever's in the briefcase, money, who knows. Um, so I have no clue why I like Green Lantern so much. He's kind of like the dorkiest dude ever. He's almost comical and never, I don't know, never is <laughs> completely serious and he's always making jokes and he's never like the best hero and maybe that's why I like him because he's just always messing up and and never gets anything right and I kind of relate to that a little bit. <laughs> just like um, at the bottom of the page I have the guy running away and I think he should be moved to the right a little bit so I think I'm going to move him towards the right. Um, so it looks like he's running more toward the right side of the page, a little bit more leading the eye to the next page. Okay, so, um, Hal is probably either going to fire a blast or maybe I'm going to have something come out that he's constructed. Not really sure yet. Um, maybe I'm going to have him throw like some restraining belts with his ring or something. I don't know. But I think I'm, right now I'm just thinking of a blast just to stop him. Um, especially since it's the last page, I just want it to be kind of flashy as possible. Um, and I'm already showing a construct uh, with Tomar Shield, so I'm not really worried about showing off that I can draw a construct that Green Lantern um, makes with his mind or his ring. So I kind of like detailed out this weird looking insect thing. And I'm not really sure if that's like the end design or anything. He looks kind of monkey-ish. And I'm not really liking exactly how it is, but it's close, you know. Um, wanted to be humanoid. 
but still really alien. Okay, so just finishing up things. I'm having a guy shoot and miss Green Lantern and hit this um, thing in the background and show that it's got an explosion. So I wanted to show a little bit of effects, you know, like something blowing up. So I'm about to draw something in the foreground of um, one of the villains, the gangsters, like shooting. And besides that, it's pretty much done. Um, I've got pretty much everything I wanted in there. See, I just marked an arrow to the right because I knew I needed to move that guy. But this is pretty much how it gets you. Just something clear. It's pretty clear and it's working on composition. And something that's just um, not focused on design much, but more composition than anything else. But either way, uh, I think that's it. So again, thanks for watching. Um, I know I'll be back again, so subscribe, like the video, and uh, yeah, see you next time.